Hey guys, welcome back to a brand spankingly new the playthrough of <coughs> Hitman uh, 1 and 2. Uh, it's uh, the one from 2016. Uh, I already played a couple of levels, but for some reason I just um, dropped it. And recently I was, uh, I'm not doing like this big Metal Gear Solid playthrough, but I really did like 40 episodes of um, MGS3. So I really was in for a change and I was thinking about Hitman 2. And actually um, that game with uh, from 2018, includes also the option to play the first hitman of 2016 in like a, a kind of a remastered way so i was like that's pretty cool i will just replay uh hitman the first one i never recorded anything for from it and then we'll continue uh, with the second one i'm off for uh, a week or two so i have uh, time on my hands we'll also continue with the metal gear solid one but this is just like uh, to mix it up a bit um, yeah, so that is the intention. It will be a deep playthrough. My uh, yeah, the, the main aim always is to go through games as thoroughly as possible, doing side quests, doing collectibles, reading up on the lore. Uh, it's also always at highest diff um, maximum set uh, graphical settings, maximum graphical settings. Uh, in this case, that will be 4K uh, HDR. I will not record. In 60 FPS, I will record in 30 FPS. I will play higher, but uh, the capture card is in the same PC as uh, the game. So really recording it in HDR 60 FPS is just a little bit too much. Um, because HDR makes the, the file uh, size 10 bit and that really is a huge difference with uh, the H.265 codec, which really uh, takes a lot more uh, processing power. And if you uh, simultaneously also need that CPU to run the game itself, it's just too much. So it will be 4K HDR 30 FPS, all um, uh, in-game settings to max. I will be playing with absolutely zero HUD because I dislike the trend in modern games whereby everything is hand-holding and being made foolproof and you're more like uh, your attention is like for half of it directed to blinking arrows and counters and pop-ups in your uh, HUD interface instead of the actual beautiful game world so I found a way to fully disable it with a little mod uh, besides what you can also disable in game but even the button prompts uh, yeah by default were not uh, it was not possible to disable those so i have a mod for those to really have everything uh, turned off um so it will be max graphical settings zero hertz i will be playing it not on the max difficulty because the max difficulty level actually normally i would but that will only give you one save uh per level and that is just a bit too annoying that maybe if you screw up uh for whatever reason um that, that, that then you have to redo the whole level i mean there are in the two games themselves i think plus the dlc i will also be playing the dlc there will be like um i don't know 15 levels or something so it's uh, for each minor mistake i make to redo the whole level it's a bit much <coughs> um so i will be playing on professional difficulty level what i will be trying to uh, aim for is silent assassin rank meaning that i will only be killing the target i will not be uh, randomly killing uh, bystanders and uh, innocents i will uh, focus like a true professional hitman only on the actual targets killing those while uh yeah having as least collateral damage as possible of course that may be a little bit less fun uh, in regards to yeah having like fun uh, brutal uh, finishing moves or um, uh, accidental deaths but still the game i think offers a lot of ways to actually also kill those those main targets uh, via the environment or with different weapons so for me it will be um, uh, i think it will be fun as well and <coughs> it just beats the feeling I get from randomly killing um, innocent NPCs in games. I mean, that's just not uh, how I uh, fly. 
So that is more or less it. Deep playthrough, max graphics, zero, hot, max difficulty, or yeah, the one below, the one with uh, only one save. Uh, silent assassin, so only focus on the targets. So let's get into the game. And did I put on my timer? Nope, I did not. By the way, it really took me literally a full day to get this running because somehow all the recordings they turned out like s totally corrupted and um yeah i i removed the capture card i, I tried a different pci pci express slots i removed all i cleaned all the drivers i updated windows i checked the hdmi cables and it kept on um yeah, outputting corrupted uh, video. So I was almost like, okay, I'm going, I'm going to have to throw away this capture card. Uh, but luckily, all at the end, <coughs> I decided to use an older driver for the capture card, and that actually simply uh, works. So it is the latest August 2020 <coughs> driver of the Avermedia capture card which really screws up things so uh, if any of you are using that card I would not advise using the August 220 driver but I got it working hopefully it will stay working um, we'll quickly run you through the options here we go gameplay this is um, about hot elements everything is off there's so much crap on screen screen otherwise it's just crazy um, then we have the controller uh, more or less defaults I do have the aim assist and the fast target still on usually I put them off but I really didn't notice any much difference and I won't be it will it's not really a shooter anyway so uh, for now we'll just keep them on mouse and keyboard not relevant we'll be playing with the controller graphics 4k V-Sync, normally I do it in the NVIDIA control panel, but for this one, somehow I just did it in-game. HDR is on, uh, gamma correction, yeah, that looks to be pretty okay. Level of detail, all, the rest is all at the highest level, which is either ultra or really weird, sometimes high is the highest uh, option. I really don't understand why they don't just use one uniform um skill for all these graphical settings like all being the max high or all being the max ultra and not having some uh having like a max of ultra and others having a max of high i find that pretty damn inconsistent but that's probably just me uh audio everything bumped up and defaults I'm playing it with headphones on so it will be stereo and youtube is only accepting stereo i think anyway so that's good language english subtitles off also unimmersive uh ioi account that's the developer nope i don't need an account privacy i don't need to read the privacy statement credits we uh, possibly can look at them after the playthrough and this is the way to quit it <coughs> for the rest it's a pretty convoluted menu i must say a lot of options and things so we have the store here now i got all the um the uh, contents so hitman 2 plus the legacy game of the year pack of hitman 1 which we'll be running through first uh, plus all the dlc missions then we have my career profile challenges mastery that's how many different ways you explore it like mastery in each level i think inventory and elusive targets not really relevant for now these are contracts what you can do i think online or something we are really focusing on the singer player campaign modes game modes you also have like a ghost mode and a sniper assassin mode maybe that's fun for after the campaign let's quickly see what ghost mode does Quick match, future match. Uh, I think it's also some online mode. And sniper assassin. I think you have you. We, there are three sniper levels. Looks pretty cool. <coughs> Can we do afterwards? Um, game mode. Then we have the campaigns. This is what we will be playing. Patient Zero is like an alternative campaign of the first Hitman. 
it's all really confusing but it is what it is but uh yeah we will just do prologue hitman one and then hitman two destinations these are yeah that's already a little bit spoilerish but these are all the destinations locations uh in the the, the two games so these three are the sniper levels those those they don't really count and here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen uh levels so i was about right with that guesstimation earlier um then what the hell is futured story ah the campaign that's what we are going to do then ghost mode that was this right yeah that's ghost mode then we have elusive targets sniper assassin mode yeah that's uh yeah those different modes which is more like a mini games i guess then what this is you should complete the final test before accessing this content no idea what these are i think that these are like different targets or something in existing locations or something i don't know we can load the game and there is like for if you have an account you can sign up and you get some hitman 3 content apparently hitman 3 is in the works good news uh i really love this um, um the, the series a lot the first couple of games blood money and the ones hitman 1 and hitman 2 way back uh it's all confusing because these games are also called hitman 1 and 2 but uh, of course the first games were yeah had similar titles they were so far ahead of their time it's amazing um i do dislike the saturation that they applied in hitman 1 in this game uh with that new hitman 2 engine i i only checked one level in sapienza <coughs> this one it's way oversaturated compared to how it was originally when hitman 1 came out in 2016 i might be tweaking it with maybe with some um, uh, reshade uh, tool but first let's maybe other levels will not be that bad so before i dive into that rabbit hole i will just see how the other levels look but uh yeah apparently the 2080 engine has some upgrades but artistically i find it they that's also just like huts in modern gaming there's like this ridiculous trend that colors need to so to say pop more they the colors need to pop and i find it totally retarded the same happened in skyrim and for skyrim i actually made a mod it's available on the um, on the nexus called no more mario sky because also in skyrim in the profession the what's it called the special edition the one with all those other remastered graphics they totally made it cartoony and oversaturated i think it's a it's a trend just like over cluttered huts in modern gaming that want to serve everybody but uh while trying that they serve nobody so to say um yeah really backwards uh trends in the in gaming development nowadays but yeah it is what it is hopefully the oversaturation in other levels it's not that bad if it is i will be uh, applying some mods to uh correct it a bit to make it more gritty and a serious tone like a hitman game uh in my view should have anyways here we go a lot of talking and babbling on my side sorry for that have to talk it all out of my system after thinking about all this stuff for uh, the past day while trying to get this freaking recording uh, corrected or fixed uh, and now finally I got it working and now I'm talking it out of my system here we go guys looking forward see you on the other side ah not yet first we have to uh, do select something here also what the hell is these these are I have no idea but whatever uh here we go let's start with the left one and probably we ah these are challenges you have selected to show limited information for incomplete challenges if you would like to see more you can adjust this in the options tab 
Ah, uh, yeah, you can uh, earn XP, I think, with doing uh, different actions. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't want that all up in the HUD or in, the, in this menu screen, so I disabled that all. It's all spoilery. I will figure stuff out on my own. That's also something, it's all hand-holding in modern games. I want to have a bit of a sense of accomplishment by figuring out stuff myself in the game world. So no huts for me and no hand-holding for me, at least to the extent possible. Um, but why are we now in destinations? No, I don't want destinations. I just want think I accidentally did destinations we just need the campaign here we go we start with the prologue and let's see it could be danger the final test all right this is the campaign so what I had here these are just like destinations with the same type of main areas but also with additional uh, what seems to be the Snorra's ascension or the Einerson inception those I think seem to be like different objectives within the same destination to uh, offer some replayability I guess but that's uh, not for now we are really focusing on the campaign uh, here we go arrival Objectives. Where the hell are the objectives? Um, why don't we see anything over here? Is that because I have that disable the HUD mod active? Or isn't there supposed to be anything here? I have no idea. Maybe there is nothing supposed to be here. Let's just go with it. But shouldn't I select like a difficulty level? It's a bit weird. I would assume I need to select a difficulty level, but whatever. Here we go. Right stick to rotate the camera, left stick and hold to run. I will Welcome keep the, to the agent program initiate. <coughs> I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow I will the lights, keep, please. I will keep the HUD on for this uh, tutorial mission, but I can actually uh, turn it off if I did everything right. <laughs> It's a bit weird that it actually is not working. I hope I'm not in DirectX 12. I should be in DirectX 11, otherwise the HUD doesn't work. But for now, let's keep it on. And then after this tutorial level, I will totally detect it. Beautiful graphics, by the way, for such an old game. Or such an old game, four years old. Or two years with the remastered graphics. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Hardly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like? Taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Right, right. Are you sure about this? I am. 
There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. All right, all right. Welcome to advanced mission training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. Thank you, Handler. As previous right, tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you and identify your target. Right, um, there's one thing I wanted to say, and that is, by the way, the hot toggle works. It's now fully turned off. What I wanted to say is that um, I, oh, I, Interactive, I think it's called, the developers. They really are, somebody has mentioned this on a forum. They really would be great developers to, to make a cool next James Bond game. They really have that vibe down. But then I was thinking, maybe the Hitman franchise already is cooler than James Bond. James Bond really is losing its roots with being like a cool uh, spy franchise. and. Hitman actually really is still really in the middle of being uh, cool and being yeah rough um, instead of watered down to to appeal to everyone and uh, anyone um, but still if there's someone or somebody who could make the next James Bond game a success I think it really will be IOI Interactive. But they are now busy on Hitman 3, I understood. So I prefer them working on that. Anyways, we need to enter that yacht, and I am pretty sure that we will not be allowed. Uh, Let's no, try it. sir, I can't let you through here. We've got heightened security. New orders. All right. I'm sorry. Who is this dude? All right. We have a dude over there. Also, what what this game is is so cool about is there's humor in it, but there is also like. I wouldn't call it a walking simulator, but there is lots to see and fun little dialogues to, to stumble upon. So, and the graphics looks pretty sharp in 4K. Looks amazing. This kind of, uh, I don't know what it is, a reactor or a silo or something. All right, we do not have a lockpick. But uh, I am, uh, of course, getting a little bit older. I really like that exploration and just hmm. messing about that in rooms. mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. And this game really provides that, scratches that itch. You put on his clothes. That's a first. 
It might just work, though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, Initiate. Before you move on, I suggest you hide your tracks. You have a much greater chance of success if your actions go undetected. The True. toilet should do the trick. By the way, pretty cool. I was thinking, is that like some kind of a weird blood, te blood texture over there? But um, what the hell is it? Oh, all right. I wanted to uh, de de deactivate the HUD, which is the A button, which is not mapped to anything, but somehow. If I press the L left, I have a combination of A plus left shoulder button to disable the HUD. But that somehow also drops the guy I'm holding, which is a bit weird. Because it's supposed to be only B. Anyways, does that guy, does he have a beard or does he have like, yeah, he has a beard. I thought maybe he had like wounds on his face uh, I was also thinking about that puddle over there like that's like like a, a bad blood texture or something but I don't think it is it is like leaked oil and probably I could have uh, yeah in one way or another have it ignite and then have like an environmental kill with the guy who was standing on top of it is what I think Alright, uh, here we go. What to do? Like so. Right. They won't find him anytime soon. True. Alright. Do we have anything here we can use? Not really. Save and load. The game auto saves during gameplay. You can manually save and load from the menu. Press start to enter the menu. All right. Um, yeah, why not? Let's save it. go this particular uniform should get you access through the staff entrance just act normal all right but also let's see what's here maybe something we can use I mean we have zip in our inventory ah we have a, uh, a gun fiber wire ah, that's it a gun and fiber wire all right there hold on that mechanic with his back turned he's what we call an enforcer he knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise so stay out of his line of sight Right, but why is that number plate crossed over? It's a bit weird. It has like hmm. two textures on top of each other. All right, and if right. you want to do- Now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. You're in. Well done, Initiate. Alright, but we want to, I think, play on silent assassin mode. Meaning that I also sh must not be... Um, ...seen. So I have to be mindful of that. 
Holy shit. Somebody could fall down there. That's one thing that's for sure. And we could turn off the fuse box over here. So not do that. Let's see where these go. It's a pretty elaborate mock-up of the ship that they created here. God damn it. The police guy is actually making his rounds. We can trigger a fire alarm if we wanted to. Man, there are a lot of options. What the hell is this? Yacht crew, that's what we want. Very nice. That will surely help. Let's holster the... What the hell did I pick up? I picked up red poison. Emetic. Still have no idea what that means. One second, making that a learning moment. Uh, e me tick. What the hell is that? An agent that induces vomiting. All right. Never heard of that word. Let's see. All right. Good to know. I thought it was something like lethal or something. Red poison normally can be lethal. Um, let's first check it out over here. We have some cupboards. We have some storage. Let's pick up the wrench. Never know where you can need it for. Do I want a crowbar? Why not? I wonder how many items Agent 47 can carry. Watch out for the actual real crew, because they might see through it. And this is probably our way out. The boat over there. Let's get up there. Check it over here. Pick up fire extinguisher. No, not now. All right, that guy I have to watch out for. Let's also save the game. 
regularly. Because I could screw up. Without a HUD, I have no idea who is an enforcer and who isn't. This guy, for instance, he could just have no problem with me, but it could also be that he actually um, sees right through me. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up? Ah, he's actually pretty cool. No problem. Hello there. All right. Are we allowed to go up? Yes, the we are. The target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. Ritter is another enforcer. Hey. Ah, shit. Where the hell are you? Let's load again because we were seen. And let's also see what actually is the objective. Where can I see the objective? That menu is not working yet in the tutorial section, apparently. Before going up there, let's first check it out over here. Hello, sir. I must say, truly impressive. There's a lot coming from you. But newspaper publishing. There he is. You know the expression that it's better to be a big fish in a small pond than a little fish in a big ocean. Of course. Well, I say so. Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. Very. Sorry, uh, I don't think I know you, mister. Oh. I don't think I know you. Hey, yeah, you. For Christ's sake. Right, so I do need to watch out for guys in the same uniform. Thank you very much. Thanks. There you have that same guy from the oh, hi. outside. Is my cabin ready? Hello? I think we might be able to get upstairs if we... Nice day for it, isn't it? Take the... Um... Clothing of that it's guy with the, 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 the hat. He's probably some kind of a business partner. Of course, I could also get up, maybe, through there. Like, over there. But maybe not. Like that scaffolding. Right, and to watch out for... He probably trades on the side. Doesn't everybody these days? Either that, or our generous host is a criminal. Isn't that what I just said? <laughs> you are just on fire today, Carmine. <laughs> I have my moments. All right, we have to watch out for the dude to the left, like other pursers. Right. 
right, this is where we started. Let's see if we can. Oh, I thought the door was locked. Sorry. Could you wait outside? Let's, oh, holy shit. There's one walking over there. Let's see if we can get that guy. She looks a bit suspicious in my view. Probably up to something. And the guy with the cowboy hats. Not really sure why, but I think there's something up with yeah, her. Yeah, crew is clear. Nothing here. Where is that lady? There she is. All right, I can also just get in there, up there. I'm looking right now. Or take the cooks <coughs> clothing. Oi, sailor. This guy. Hey, how are you? If I could slip him a Mickey, he will go vomiting. Then I can take him out on the toilets, take his fleshy clothes and get up there. But I'm a bit late with um, putting something in his drink. really doesn't seem to be moving. Ah, there she is again as well. Hey Skipper. I think I am just going to go up. Greetings, Mariner. In the current uniform. The target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread there carefully. Right, where is he? Ah, you see, there is the guy with the cowboy hat. So he was involved. what they're all about. Hi. Hey. Ah, we have to follow the targets. That's our new objective. I think that's the cowboy dude. I don't really see it. So you took him in here? Yeah? What did he say? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You know, we should get like a notebook and write all that funny stuff down. They grow up so fast and suddenly it's all gone. What? Yeah. Just the usual yada yada and back to the hotel. 
Holy oh, shit. I saw one of those. Just can't do this shallow crap anymore. Bursar's walking. I know. Don't worry about me. I just feel like I'm from Mars or something. Oh, hey, I'm seeing Mr. Van Dyke. Gotta go brown nose the inbreds. <laughs> I'll call you later tonight, okay? Right. Just listening to his conversation. What the hell is this? A bust. I'm a bit freaked out by those other cursor dudes. Yeah, hey. Especially the guy walking over there, but whatever. The target will spot you if you get too close. To eavesdrop on his conversation, try and find a way to blend in. Right. Um. Help? I mean, like, real help? Man, the bar. Back already? Buddy, you're making us look bad. Chew your food, why don't you? <laughs> Blending in, I see. Well Mr. done, Norfolk. initiate. So good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. <laughs> my sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please, uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. True. How you doing? Going great. Thank you very much. Let's say quickly save the game. What's a close call? Time for a nice cup of tea. Wow, so you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk, and you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene. There. I know, I know. But how am I going to kill him? That's my question. I I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of Well, I'm rooting for you. Now what's that password always slips my mind? Wait, was it glass cutter? No. No, but something work related. Now is your chance. Use your silent pistol or the client will notice. I've used that before myself. What the hell? Ah, shit. He heard it. Um, let's just load this one. Alright, indeed, let's just lose the, use the pistol then. Wow, so you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk, and you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So, what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor Mr. Ritter it's more of good a work now we play the waiting game years ahead of this time maybe even more maybe 
five or a hundred. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of London. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now is your chance. Use your silent pistol or the client will notice. Just a moment. Oh, Wait a minute. Ah. He did notice. God damn it. Um, how to take him out without the other guy noticing? Annoying. Wow. Isn't so there a fun way? The blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk. And you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of I don't have like a going to toss. My clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, done. maybe if yeah, I shoot him from further reactor. away. It's more of Wait for it. 50 years ahead of its time. Maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first. I don't want that buddy to be found, actually. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now, what's that password? Always slips my mind. Hold on, I'm thinking. Maybe you wrote it down somewhere. Birth date in reverse. Damn it. Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. No, let's first hide the body. Can I Ritter, also... I have to tell you, I, I had you pegged as a much more organized person. So I... Mr. Ritter. Alright, I need to do that a bit quicker and then I can take them both out. Pretty sure. pay for Mr. Norfolk and you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Shit. Most of my clients are art collectors. Agent so upstairs it, over there. Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a revolution. 50 years ahead of its time, maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. Your target is down. God damn it, I was too quickly. God damn it, this is actually pretty annoying if you want to do it right. Wow, so you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk, and you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a revolution. 50 years ahead of its time. Maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but Whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of the world. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now what's that password always slips my mind? Give me a second. Your right, target is down. Quickly, come now on. head calmly towards an exit. Oh, Mr. Ritter, I, I have to tell you, I... Alright, that's one guy down. Let's hide his body. Like over there. And let's all 
also just move the other dude, why not? And then we should be relatively good to go. I would say. Do we want to hack his computer? Nope. I think we are good to go. First, let's save the game before I have to redo that another 10 times. red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. All right. And there's one of those dudes standing outside, which makes it a bit more harder. Good day to you, sir. He didn't recognize me. Where was the stairs downwards? No idea. Yuck. Hello there. God damn it. I find it a bit weird. Or was the stairs outside? Hello, same. No stairs there. Ah, there they are. How you doing? Pretty good. What's up with you, big guy? That's enough. Sorry, dude. Listen, I don't mind shooting you. I will if necessary. You have been compromised. Quickly, try and lose them and change your disguise. Nope. I am loading... A new one. I'm not sure why he was dead. Strict. Apparently, he really didn't want Agent Forty Seven to enter that room. Man, it's Confusing this layout. Yeah, I'm not sure I know you, sir. Oh, this creep can't be a pal of yours, right? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Right, but there was one of those. Ah, the guy's all the way to the left. That's good. This should work. No 
not sure what the sound effect is I'm hearing. But the guy we the red car kill marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. Advanced mission training complete. And may I say, elegantly done, Initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. I look forward to the final test. Final test? Wasn't this enough? God damn it. Oh, I really How did you know? Episode. I told you he had talent. His stats were off the charts. Here. Such skills and reflexes. They could only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint, he could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... <sighs> Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Very nice. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. All right, we'll do that. Before the final test, you're allowed, one, allowed more time to practice the Ritter operation. You're free to choose your approach. You can use intelligence. You can use the challenges to guide you. What challenges? We encourage you to complete as many challenges as possible. All right. I have limited information on the challenges. As I like it. So the only thing we have are like pictures we have like that engine we have a coin we can dress up as the guy as the client we can dress up as a police guy we can dress up as the butler or the purser that we already did we can shoot him as a police guy we can blow something up outside I'm not sure what that's all about we can use some red poison we can i don't know take put him in a closet i guess and we have an inflatable boat not sure what that is all about let's show the Incomplete challenges, show all challenges. What the hell is this of assassinations? There are no feet categories. Man, it's a little bit convoluting. Convoluted. Only show uncompleted challenges. These are Whoa. So you have challenges, but I used to have way more challenges. Show completed challenges. Show all challenges. Now there are only two. Not too long ago, it were way more. All right, this is our starting kit. Intel. No intel collected. This is the layout, pretty simple. Um, bar, Ritter's office, bridge. All right. And then here we have free form training. I 
still have no clue what this whole menu is all about. At the start I had like a whole row, like 10 items that could be considered challenges. And suddenly once I filtered them, only two remained, like ways of killing Ritter. Little is known about Kelvin Ritter's origins. Allegedly from Barbados, Ritter first emerged in London in the 1980s as part of the notorious international jewel thief network, the Yardbirds. The network's leader, legendary Serbian bank robber Alexander Kovac, took a shine to the young Ritter and became his mentor. Ritter was a natural cat burglar, incredibly athletic and acrobatic. He showed impressive strategic skills and high social intelligence. He was charismatic, charming and capable of switching effortlessly between accents, identities and personalities. He was also quite ruthless when he had to be unafraid to injure or kill, kill security personnel who stood in his way. When Interpol finally broke up the art birds, only Ritter escaped, emerging years later as a respectable art collector in Florida, USA. Assuming his old yard birds moniker, The Sparrow, he stole priceless art, art worth hundreds of millions from hapless well-to-dos. In 1998, Ritter saw the writing on the wall, future crime would be digital, not analog, and he decided to retire as a cat burglar. Unfortunately, a former client realized that Ritter had sold him a counterfeit Gorka and hired ICA to put an end to the Sparrow's dreams, dream of retirement. Alright, kill conditions, any method, any disguise. So, what was about those challenges? Here. Ah, feet. I think I are feet. Yes, this is what uh, I was looking. So these are feet, ways to yeah, use your uh, to to get to the objective. And besides feet, you have assassination. We can either strangle, use the wire, whatever it's called. What is this called? Fiber wire or we can use the toilets, one of the two. Um, yeah, so that's all pretty clear actually now. Um, let's tackle this one in the next episode. We have also a lot more items over here. Oh shit, God damn it. We have an explosive, we have a lockpick, we have a flash grenade, and we have some coins. And let's tackle this objective in the next episode guys hope you enjoyed it's still me learning a bit the ropes of this game like the mechanics and stuff but slowly but surely getting to it uh i hope you enjoyed it still somewhat and see you in the next one for the meantime do not forget always do keep on gaming see you later